Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And we're going to talk today about your lighting options for LEDs on top of the rudder tip. Now, most of our rudder tips look just like this. We have a jelly jar on top of the rudder, and that's our anti-collision light as part of Part 23 certification. Now, the other option you have is if you have a combined well and tail strobe, you can have a fared in upper cap and not have any lighting there as long as you have a tail combined with a strobe. And then your third option is to have a red rudder cap. Those are always nice. And we're going to talk about the LEDs that can go underneath there to get rid of the flashing beacon and all of its current draw and other problems. So stay tuned while we have some more fun with this. And so we would like to ask you, please subscribe. Hit the like button and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So if you've got the factory supplied rudder tip, you've got the jelly jar up there. One option you have is to go get a Sun Beacon by Arrow LED, the Sun Beacon 2. It's a smaller version. It fits right where the jelly jar fits and there's no power supply. So you're going to save yourself that 9 amps that you're sending to the or 10 or 11 amps you're sending to the beacon is now only going to draw a flash and strobe for the top. It's only going to draw less than 1 amp. So get yourself a Sun Beacon uh, 2 by Arrow LED. They're about $700, but they're ready to go. You can get them in red and you can get them in white. The whites go under the red rudder cap with a little bit of modification, but the red ones can go right on top right now. And here's what one looks like. Now, as we mentioned for option number two, which is you have a completely fared end cap, and that's because you have a combined tail and nav strobe that goes in your tail, and that's legal under part 23. And the usual people that use is the Orion 500 series tail strobe. It doesn't weigh very much. It's like 4.3 ounces. You do have to fabricate a heat sink for some of the units if they're really bright, but um, we used an AN970 large area washer for that. And then we go ahead, we mount it in the tail and that secures it so that it doesn't go bad. And you can see the large area washer there that we use to secure into the tail cone to protect that fragile royal light. And it doesn't draw much and it has three connections. It has a ground, it has the nav light, and it has this strobe and people like to say that it's a uh, retinal blinding we did a test where we sent a normal aircraft and uh, this aircraft off on a hazy day and the orion tail strobe could be seen out five to seven miles where the other airplane was lost at two or three but anyway here's what it looks like it's a uh, very bright and it's again another option it's an led and um, these are about four to five hundred dollars uh, i haven't checked the price lately but anyway they're easy to install they're certified and they make a very bright light in your tail. Now for the final option. So when we get to the uh, red rudder caps, this is an or, or, I'm sorry, this is an Aero LED Sun Tail LED beacon, and you can imagine it under the red rudder cap. And this one is in white, and we're only using right there was the strobe portion. Now we're going to go ahead and activate both the tail nav and the strobe. But if you're putting it under the red rudder cap, you're only going to be using the strobe portion of that. Now in the box, it comes to you at 7.2 ounces in the box and it's 2.5 ounces when you take it out of the box so that's going to be determining how much mass balance you're going to have to add to your upper rudder tip but then again we have you can see that we're going to be hooking up the strobe i'm sorry the nav it is very bright and that's on the red wire the yellow wire is the strobe and the green wire is for syncing all your strobes to go off at the same time so this is an option underneath the red rudder cap that allows you to have good visible lighting you mount it in the vertical you mount it so that the led faces upward on the little bracket that you're going to fabricate to go under the red rudder cap it's narrow enough to fit under the red rudder cap the other option is is you can get the sun beacon 2 
right here in white, shave down the cases, modify them a little bit, re-educate them as Ken used to say, and it will fit under the red rudder cap and that way it won't rub the red rudder cap nor will it crack it. But you can put a white one of those underneath, they're $700 and the tail beacon that we're putting in underneath the red rudder cap for the Project Tiger, it's only about $450 from um, Aero LED. So that's the option for going underneath the red rudder cap. Now let's go ahead and recap all of this for you. So in a nutshell, here are your three options. You can continue to use the jelly jar that the factory installed up on the rudder tip, and those are available. You can get a fared end cap, and but then you're going to have to have a combined tail and nav light. And then finally, you're going to have a red rudder cap, and you're going to want to put one of the tail sun sun tail strobes underneath it so that you have good lighting now let's talk about the cost and the amount of time it's going to take for each of those now with the red rudder i'm sorry with the standard factory rudder cap you can go ahead and just remove the jelly jar remove the power supply use the wires that run through the vertical stabilizer and you can for about 750 dollars you can buy the aero led sun beacon 2 in red it's weatherproof is ready to go right on and you're up and running and you've got your nice led drawing less than one amp on your airplane now let's talk about option number two the fared cap now if you go ahead and use a fared cap on top of your rudder you're going to be looking at an orion uh, by wellen tail strobe either the vertical or the horizontal either one of those is going to run you about five hundred dollars and it probably takes about an hour of shop time to go ahead and install it but again it is a very bright light and that's for those of you who want the fared in cap so you're getting every nano knot out of your grumman and we know how most grummans feel about additional speed so there you go about an hour of total time and about seven about five hundred dollars in cost so now let's talk about the red rudder cap and the uh, sun beacon now as we talked about earlier you have to build a little bracket just like if you were putting your strobe underneath your red rudder cap or your flashing beacon but um, it weighs 2.5 ounces you are going to want to check the weight on your rudder when you're all done but it doesn't draw very much less than about a half an amp of current for the strobe it's a very bright light and it's very visible under the red rudder cap and the nice thing about the red rudder cap is it only passes the FAA reds that it needs to pass now you can put a red light underneath it but you might have a restriction depending upon the two color red that you're using but again the sun tail by aero led it's about 450 dollars takes a couple of weeks to get it but it's very lightweight it's very easy to install and you get rid of the power supply and you get rid of the flashing um, jelly jar and that power supply draws 10 to 11 amps and burns out your uh, your switches and your wires so it's a good low current alternative minor altercation under CFR 14 so ladies and gentlemen we hope you found all this information about your options for LED lighting for your rudder tip and this applies to Grumman's to Piper's to Cestas there's nothing special about this lighting LEDs are definitely the way to go so we hope you found all this useful and informative thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman <music> So here are the cute kittens all being quiet on the sofa on this nice cold day. Thought you'd enjoy it. So take a look at these little beauties. They're 8 and 10 months old each.